School's out, everyone, so now it's time for me to roast my school. When I was really young, teachers would teach me very questionable things. I personally can't think of a good reason for it. Just why? Nothing else to say here. Let's move on. This one time I was in class, do note all these classes in this video are below the fifth grade, and my teacher was teaching us some basics of physics. She went into basics like Newton's three laws of motion, momentum, stuff like that. Now, you guys saw the title of this video and we're on YouTube after all, so you can probably see where this is going. Although gravity acts the same on all objects, heavier objects fall faster because they generate more force. What did she just say? <sighs> okay. If you are really young and watching this and didn't understand what was so funny about that, strap in because you're in for a physics lesson. It's summer break, we're not supposed to be learning! Yes, but this is information that will actually be useful, unlike what most of school teaches these days. Now, gravity pulls on all objects with the same force. This is per mass, meaning that all objects will fall at the same speed towards the ground. A hammer and a feather would fall to the ground at the same speed. However, since the hammer has more mass, it will have more momentum. Despite this, it will still fall at the same speed. However, this is all assuming that there is no atmosphere. If you have air, you need to look at the shape of the falling objects. On Earth, the feather falls slower than the hammer because its feather shape is very flat and hits lots of air on its way down, slowing it down. The hammer has a very long round shape and thus hits less air, letting it fall faster in the atmosphere. Okay, physics lesson over. By the way, a different teacher came in and corrected her. It was pretty great to see a teacher get schooled. Even earlier, when I was in kindergarten, I was terrified of static shocks. I still am, but whatever. An adult there told me that static shocks were actually smart shocks that made you smarter every time you get shocked. Sounds like some sci-fi movie if you ask me. However, I was pretty intelligent for a kindergartner. I didn't need those smart shocks because I was already smart enough to know that that was a straight up white lie. I told the adult that I didn't believe her, asking her to explain how shocks increase intelligence, and she just said, Smart shocks make you smarter! Do you really think I'm this stupid? One time I was in biology and a teacher told me that individual organisms evolve throughout their lifetime. Just after telling us that there are separate areas of taste on your tongue and deoxygenated blood is blue. I don't think this teacher went to college. Now that I've said these stories, I have one question. Why do teachers teach this misinformation? Just why? Why not teach them the truth? Just simplified. Anyway, if you have any idea, I guess you can comment it. I'm not good at this. Hey, leave your comments below and like and subscribe. And so I know this is a relatively short video, that's just because three videos in a row failed. First, I tried to make my first gaming video, but I learned the hard way that my entry-level gaming PC can't render 1080 HD videos at 60 frames per second with 48 kilohertz audio and a bit depth of 16. I also started making an animation, but decided to postpone the project to a later time since it will be a very long project that will take a very long time to make. On top of that, I came back from a trip to New York City and I was going to make a vlog. It's just that my brand new phone corrupted all my pictures and videos. I will be taking my phone to a recovery center soon, and I should get my pictures back, hopefully. If I do, I'll be sure to get that New York video out as soon as possible. Anyway, that's about it. Sorry this video wasn't the best, I just felt like making a quick animation for my viewers. Well, that's all I've got to say. I'll see you guys in my next video.